Merry Christmas and Happy Almost New Year! It's me, Morgan, the very unofficial travel guide, and this is probably one of my last videos of 2013. If this is the first of my videos that you've come across, I travel around the world to theme parks, on cruise ships, and other tourist destinations, and I make videos to help you plan and know what to expect when you get there, and it's all very unofficial. I'm not sponsored by anybody, I just tell it like it is. 2013 has been a great year for me with my YouTube channel, thanks to a lot of you. I've had over a million views, I've got almost 2,000 subscribers. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. That's how you can get updated on when I post a new video. Also, I have a Facebook page and I would love it if you would go like Morgan's Very Unofficial Travel Guides at Facebook. You can see thousands of extra photos there of all the places I've been. And it's also a great place to connect with other people who might be planning to visit wherever it is you're planning to visit. So this video is a little bit different than the kind of videos I usually do. I was going through the footage of all the stuff I shot in 2013 and there's a lot of good stuff coming up. <laughs> but I had a plan to do a video of what it's like to fly first class because I never fly first class. Even when I'm flying for other companies, I never get to fly first class. But Delta was having a special. So for our flight from Minnesota to California, we looked at the price and looked at how many miles we got and decided it would be a good idea if we just this one time splurged and flew first class for this stretch. I wanted to do a cool video showing all the advantages and showing what it was like, but three things happened that made it all messed up. First of all, I only got like three hours of sleep the night before and I am terrible if I don't get enough sleep. Secondly, I get really bad motion sickness and it's getting worse and worse the older I get. And now it's gotten so bad that I have to take a motion sickness pill when I fly because if it's a bumpy flight, then I'll just start puking. I tried several different motion sickness uh, pills and I wasn't able to find the stuff that I normally use, which works the best for me, so I had to use other stuff. And I took one on our way to the airport and it made me totally sleepy. I felt totally stoned by the time we got to the airport, so I couldn't think straight. I wasn't my usual peppy self, and you'll definitely see that in this footage. So the final thing that happened is after we got on the plane, the whole plane was boarded, luggage packed away, seatbelts on, then we had to evacuate the plane because the security data was missing. So we all had to get back out of the plane, wait for them to inspect it, and then get back on the plane. After that, I probably could have still made a good video, but I was so looped up from this uh, medicine that I basically passed out. So you'll see the footage ends abruptly with no real ending. But I thought I'd share it with you anyways as sort of a Christmas present and a good start into 2014, promising you that there will be no more videos like the one you're about to see. Have fun! Hey, it's Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides, and in this video I'm going to talk about flying first class versus flying coach. Another advantage of flying first class is the fact that you get priority check-in. So you see all this area behind me? That's where we got to check in. And that area back there is where the, the people who aren't flying first class check in. I almost said the normal people. That's where the normal people have to check in. Another advantage of flying first class is you get to be the first person on the plane. So we had to fight through the huge line of people waiting and get to just go right on in sit down in our hopefully big luxurious seats. We boarded the plane before everybody else and now we just sit back and relax and watch all the economy customers walking past, which is usually me. And I'm sitting here in my seat on a flight to Los Angeles on Delta Airline. And for the first time ever, I've never experienced it before, I've never experienced this before, the pilot has asked us all to get back off the plane because they can't find the security papers somebody, saying somebody checked the plane today. So we all have to get off the plane, and the security guy's gonna come and check it, and then we can get back on the plane again. Interesting. Good job, Delta. Here we are outside the plane now. Everybody had to get off, and now they've got 10 people doing the security sweep that 
normally two people would be doing, the pilot said, and said it won't take that long, and then we can all get back on the plane. <laughs> it's now 25 minutes past the time when our flight was supposed to leave, and we're getting back on the plane.